What's up guys, Champ here bringing you another Black Ops 3 gameplay. Today what I got for you is actually two gameplays, two of almost the exact same identical gameplays, but there is one difference. Well, there's two differences. One is how many kills I get, and the other difference is one game I get a nuclear, one game I get a brutal. And this is where the question lies. In the first game, this is the first gameplay right here, I'm going to get a crazy high KD, but I don't get as many kills. I actually get about 14 less kills in this game than I do in the second gameplay. But I get the nuclear in this game. In the second gameplay, I get a brutal, go on a nasty gun streak, but die short of the nuclear but end up with a higher KD at the end of the game. Both these games I'm playing kill confirm. Both these games I'm using the KN44. Both these games I'm using the combat focus. One game I'm using different score streaks. I got I believe I got the wraps in in the next game and the wraith which obviously are going to get you a couple kills. And both these games which is crazy enough is I go completely flawless the whole entire game and die within the last seconds of the game. So I have one death in both these games. So the question is what's better? Is it better to get more kills but have less gun kills? You know what I mean? Or is it better to get more gun kills but have less overall kills at the end of the game? So I got two gameplays that basically completely are exactly the same besides the end numbers and I want you guys to tell me which one do you think is better here which one would you rather have at the end of the day I mean everybody wants a nuclear obviously but if you already had a nuclear and you already have it as one of your medals then you're really not that worried about it anymore it's all about getting that first nuclear then it's about getting high KD games where you just completely destroy the enemy team I mean that's what everybody really wants to do you want to destroy the enemy team and you just want to feel like you completely dominated the game and took over. That's what I like to do, actually, when I'm playing uh, when I'm playing anything in Call of Duty. I, you know, win or lo lose, I really want to win, obviously. But the way I try to win is by trying to get my score streaks and just completely destroying the other team. Sometimes I'll play objectively when you know when I know it's not going to be one of those games where I'm going to get score streaks when there's just a bunch of tryhards on the other team. I'm going to play the objective because obviously I'm probably not going to get the win by getting my score streaks because the score streaks I put on you got to go on at least like a 10 kill streak to get the first set of them usually besides the UAV here but to get the Wraith you got to get like 10 kills so here's the question to you guys is it better to get a nuke or is it better to get a high KD game and it doesn't really matter what the gun streak is as long as you finish with low amount of deaths you guys tell me and let me know in the comment section and I'm curious because I actually always want to get the nuke. That's like my thing is getting the nuke seems a little better to me. But the, the next gameplay, I mean, I finished with a higher score, I believe. I finished with just an overall better game. But like I said, I'm going to play good in both these games. They're both really high entertaining games where I have one death at the end of it. One of the games I finished with over 50 kills. And one of the games I finished with over 60 kills. So you guys let me know. Say it in the comments section. I hope you guys like the gameplays. If you do, definitely hit the like button. If you want to see more, subscribe to me at Champ Gavin. For a second here in this game, they did disappear. The other team obviously quit. I think there's like two guys right now. But it's only going to stay like this for a second, or I would never even show you guys this gameplay. I hate showing gameplays where the other team quits all the time. Though I have so many of those starts. Like, I'll go like 15-0, and 20-0. and the whole enemy team quits and then like what do I do with that I can't show you guys a 20 and 0 flawless start that's not really much I might put a couple of these gameplays together Mr. Kai gave me the idea that I should show you guys all these little quits that all these people do when we start off really well and then they just completely disappear on us so maybe that's a gameplay for another day that I'll show you guys but for now you know how it is on this channel straight nuclear is 100 pluses I actually just got another nuclear on safeguard crazy 42 gun streak nuclear gameplay and i got it all on one side just about on safeguard i got wraps i got wraith i had it all and you know how hard it is to get streaks and safeguard so that's a gameplay that i definitely got to show you guys before the new call of duty comes out i also got a couple nuclears by mr cod i want to show you guys and i mean i got i got tons of gameplays i still want to show you i'm never going to be able to show you them all before the new call of duty comes out and you know we're just going to get started dealing with all that stuff and trying to go through that game analyze that game see how we can get a high kd in that game see how we can just completely destroy the enemy team in that game just like we've been doing in black ops 3 for the last two years i guess i'd say right now yeah for about two years black ops 3 so it will be nice to get some fresh content on the channel 
Though that doesn't mean I'm not going to post any more Black Ops 3 forever. I love this game too much. You're still going to see some Black Ops 3. But we are going to have to move on to the new Call of Duty and see what we can do. Try to get some, some quick videos out on that. Try to get better than everybody at that game so I can get some high gun streak games, some nuclears, whatever they're going to have in that game. I'm not exactly sure if the, how the nuclear is going to work. If you're going to have to go on a 30 gun streak, a 25 gun streak. Or if you're going to be able to use your score streaks combined with the gun streak to make the nuclear happen. I mean, if that's it, then that's usually pretty easy. Especially if they have decent score streaks to actually kill people. I mean, this is Call of Duty. This is why people play Call of Duty is for the score streaks. So I, I've never had a Call of Duty game where the, you can get a score streak and get on a 30 kill streak pretty easily by just camping out. Especially in Black Ops 3. I mean, you throw the Wraith up. You throw the wraps up, you camp out a little bit, play really safe and slow. You see that you can go on a 30 kill streak really easily. It's a 30 gun streak. That's where the problem is because that's when you have to get it all with your gun. Just took out a nice little three piece right there. I'm about to pick up my nuclear right here. I'm going to play a little campy just to make sure I get this nuclear right here just because I don't want to blow it. I mean, I've got 14 bullets left. You're going to see that's going to come into play. I believe I'm one kill off the nuclear right here. Then I'm going to get a bunch of unstoppables too. So the gun streak does just stop at 30 so like I said the question is which gameplay is better you guys tell me here it goes camping for the nuke don't judge me sometimes you got to camp for a nuke every once in a while especially if you haven't had one in a day you're like I'm not trying to blow this right now and I'm gonna make sure I get it and look what happened right here I do all that hip fire I end up missing him with the hip fire and have to pull out the KN44. Thank God I had some bullets left in this thing or that could have been trouble. Now I'm going to pick up a couple unstoppables and you guys are going to see that I'm going to die right at the end of the game. These guys kept getting counter UAVs so I had to kind of sit in a corner for a second. Don't judge me for that either. You can't really blame me. When there's counter UAV up, I'm pretty much blind. Don't know where to go. Don't even know which way to approach the enemy team. Spawns flip so quick and kill confirm. And one wrong move and you're dead and there goes your gun streak and there could be the end of your high KD game because with two deaths and then that high KD game gets cut right in half. You're afforded one, one death if you're trying to get a high KD game, but you cannot get two because then it just it completely cuts it in half. Like I said, I don't use sound either. Most people probably won't believe me when I tell you that, but I literally never play with sound in this game. I just realized that two of my last gameplays that I recorded that nuke included, the one I was talking about, 42 Gun Streak on Safeguard, did not record with any sound. And I didn't even know until I tried to put it and try to play it on my video and I was gonna make a video about it and that's when I realized there was no sound because when I got the actual gameplay, I didn't use sound so I wouldn't have noticed that there was no sound. So I gotta figure that out. I gotta finish why, figure out why my Xbox is not playing sound right now and not recording. But I will figure that out and I definitely gotta figure it out soon because I'm gonna to have to use a little bit of sound in the next game. But truthfully, I don't have good ears anyway. So even if I turn the sound on, it doesn't help. And look at that, almost flawless gameplay. This guy just plucks me off with a sniper gun with the Varic sight on cross map right at the end of the game camp in the corner until it's over and you guys are going to see i'm going to finish this game 51 and 1 51 kd nuclear 35 gun streak i'm going to show you guys the medals and then we're going to get on to the next gameplay and that's where i want you guys to kind of watch i'm gonna throw some music in the background i promise you guys i am going to get new music you're not going to have to keep hearing the same songs over and over again but for the next couple of videos you might have to promise you guys we'll get new music i'm trying to find better music more entertaining music so if you guys liked this video definitely hit the like button if you want to see more subscribe to me at champ gaming lots more videos to come on both black ops 3 and the new call of duty coming out so this kn class actually is a little bit different didn't even get to tell you guys that this class has stock on it the other class does not have stock on it everything else is the same except for i got extended bags fast mags silencer in the first game play and in this gameplay i just took off fast mags and i put on stock instead so i still have extended mags then i got stock then i got the suppressor i got the same exact perks on for the class and that's it that's the gameplay for you guys i hope you guys like it and enjoy here comes that music hope you're not sick of it
about. 